वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई बी टीचिंग यू अबाउट हाइपर लिंक यूजिंग ऑफ हाइपर लिंक इन ओपन ऑफिस कैल्क सो फर्स्टली वॉट इज द हाइपर लिंक इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ शॉर्टकट इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दैट शॉर्टकट डायरेक्टली सम अदर पेज वेब पेज और सम अदर फाइल ओपन फॉर अस फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रेजेंटली आई हैव ओपन Google and from Google, if I want to click on this YouTube where YouTube is written, so this is a hyperlink, and the text which is written here it is called hypertext. So if I'll click upon this, you know very well YouTube will be open. So now coming to the topic, working with hyperlinks. Firstly, definition: hyperlinks can be used in Calc to jump to a different location from within a spreadsheet. and can lead to other parts of the current file to different files or even to websites so website example just now i have shown you in case of calc here also we can use hyperlink so a hypertext or a button can be used to point towards a particular file either it is in a spreadsheet or to other part of a current file that means other sheets also or to different files that means it can be placed within the computer in some other folder or even to websites so more it will be clearer as i'll clear it with the practical example so moving towards the practical example now so i have taken a empty spreadsheet So, firstly, for creating a hyperlink, I'll just give the title here. So now, for creating a hyperlink, you could see here hyperlink button is there. Either I can click it here, or either I can click on insert, and here also will find the button hyperlink. So you have to click it here. Now, as a result, this dialog box opens in front of you. So first of all I'll click upon the first option internet and I'll write here the name of any website suppose I am writing here www.google.com and afterwards uh I want to make my text that means as a hypertext I want to write so I can write here go to google and then i'll write here apply and close as a result you could see this is a hyperlink and the text what you are seeing here go to google is a hypertext so if i'll click upon this so it will open the google website if my address url address is correct so it will open the website for me in my default web browser so i'll click upon it you could see the hand is coming So as i click it it will open the website for me you could see here so i hope uh, this is clear to you i just told you how to create a hyperlink which is pointing towards a website now i'll just check the other option now this time i am clicking on this button hyperlink button now second option is mail and news if you want to uh point towards any mail so i can for that purpose i can use mail and news so firstly here is the receiver receiver means to whom you want to send a mail suppose i am sending mail to my another email id and uh, subject because you know very well if we i we have to write the mail we have to write the subject also so suppose as a subject i am writing here test or check now this time earlier i have told you to use as a text this time i want to use a button i'm clicking on button and uh, here i'll write mail and then i have to click on apply and close 
so one thing i have done wrong because uh, i have used the same space so this i'll delete i have to select this because this is a3 here i'll insert apply close now it's okay but you could see it's showing the green boxes which allows me to increase the size of the button now to remove this i have to just go on this toolbar form design toolbar and from here i have to off design mode now it's okay but by default sometimes this form design is not available suppose i'm closing it from where to bring it view toolbars then from here form design so you could see this toolbar is back so in your case if form design toolbar is not available you can bring the toolbar in this way so i'm placing it here on the top because after clicking this button so just see it's asking to add my own account now i have i have not added any account here in outlook.com if i'll add my account i can send mail from here also and i can download my mails but i am not adding any now if you want you can add but just i was wanting to explain you that you can send a mail also from here as a hyperlink from your calc so i am closing this so this option is very much clear to you now the third option insert hyperlink now the the third option is document now you want to open any file it can be any file so firstly i have to set the path path means uh, where i have saved my file in which folder so i'll suppose i'll click on open file i have to give the path where my file is saved so usually i used to save my files in student folder so here i'll check like here it is goal seek so suppose i am opening my goal seek yeah so i have given the path that means my path is under kapil desktop students and goal seek file okay now from here i have to set the target because in my goal seek spreadsheet many files are available that means many worksheets so i'll click upon this target in document and from here i'll click on sheets suppose interest is there distinction salary suppose i have selected salary and click on apply close and now text only so i'll write here salary apply close you could see here now salary hyperlink is also there so if i click upon this salary you could see there another document is open that means my calc file spreadsheet file and so this text is acting as a hyperlink so i hope it is clear to you this option is also clear to you now the next option again hyperlink so document is very much clear to you now moving to the next option insert hyperlink new document now what it says a new document that has to be created either i have to edit it now or i'll edit it later so what kind of document text document that means it will open in open word suppose i want to click on text document edit now or edit later these options are available suppose i am clicking on edit now path way where it will be saved so i'll click on it i'll select desktop so that it's easy for me to show you i click on desktop text document it can be text document spreadsheet presentation again text okay i'll write here my name just any fictitious name and apply 
okay i have forgotten to give the name here where i was giving a path i have to give the name also so i'll write here name and now name of my file apply close now you will see a new hyperlink with my name if i'll click on this a new document file will be opened just see so you could see here open office writer is op uh, just in front of you and name of my file the name what i have given or you can save it with any text or anything then you can save it and i can close it if i want to check it on desktop i'll just minimize it and you will see here name somewhere the name will be there you could see here name of my file that means with that option i was able to save my file so in this way i am able to explain you about the hyperlink and the options different options available the same way as i have used edit now you can use edit later also so afterwards editing can be done if i am clicking it here edit later that also i'll explain and i'm clicking in presentation file again i have to give the path so i'll select desktop and then text my presentation file then apply uh, again the name i have to give here presentation file apply close so again the hyperlink is there so if i click it see with this option also i am able to open now the presentation file so i can save it and i can do the editings then i can save the file and the same way this file will also be present here if file just search it presentation file so i have explained you all the options of hyperlink so please try this all and still if any doubt is here you are always welcome to comment so i am closing my tutorial here till then bye bye